Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing a review on the Nintendo Switch Online as of today. Uh, if y'all want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button down below. Because I'm going to be talking about a couple things in this um, video. So, now this is my first time actually ever trying to do something like this. So, bear with me, but yeah. So... Back in, like, 2017, Nintendo... Oh, wait, actually, I forgot to... Hold on. Okay, there we go. Alright, so back, like, three or four years ago, Nintendo released the original Nintendo Switch Online. More games. More features. More fun. Nintendo Switch Online. Which had included five features back Allow us back to then. introduce five features included with your membership. Which I think was kind of cool at the time, but then at the time it really wasn't worth it at all. And what I... Also, this is, like I said, just opinion and facts. Facts. So if I say something, it mean, like I said, this is just my opinion personally. So like on play, online play. The thing is, of course, you can online play, play is only good for like online, some games, even like when you're far Mario Kart or Splatoon or Mario Party Compete or Superstars, the world over, or like only games, or team up for some great co-op. Or maybe even Animal Crossing. There are so many ways to have fun. A variety of games are supported, so find your favorites and take them online. Now, don't get me wrong about the online play. The online play is okay, but it's it's decent, but it's not the best. Like, I'm gonna be legitimately honest about that. Realistically, the, uh, I'm just gonna be honest about this. The online play, it's okay, but it's like, it's not the best, though, if you want my honest opinion. I still feel like Nintendo could do better. And then, NES and SNES. Now, what I have to say about this even is, play is, classic it's, games. it's cool and all, anywhere on Nintendo but, like, Switch. it just isn't the same. Because I feel like back then when they originally created this, Get lost in the it game was game. like... Whether you're the boss or the little monster. Not many people really enjoyed the them at all games, because, like, player it just can grab a joy -Con control. Everyone felt like it was too early for this. To be really so both these of you can share in the fun. In which case, I felt like that games too. Can also be played it was a online. little uh, As they said, early for this. Playing together long distance makes the but heart like, grow fonder. I feel like Look forward to more people most uh, more people grew up playing like N64, GameCube, the Game Boy Advance, those kind of games. So it just didn't really work out for a lot of people. Heck, I don't even know if a lot of people even still play it, the NES and SNES. But it's just, it's not very good, as, as I feel like. Heck, I don't even play them at all. ...to a growing library of classic games. And then the Safe Data Cloud. The only reason I purchased it, the original one, a long time ago, was just so I had online playing Safe Data Cloud. And some of the special options. That was the only thing. Luigi knows that no matter how careful you try to be, something yeah. unexpected can happen. Accidents can cause your precious save data to disappear. But help is on the way. Now, don't Nintendo get me Switch wrong, Online, this is a cool game feature. Save data is automatically this is backed up on in the Xbox cloud. And PlayStation where even if your console breaks, your save data will be safe from harm. Yes. Now, that's a good idea because if like if your console just gets destroyed or something, then that means obviously if it does the safe data won't get which is safe data won't get destroyed, which is actually a good thing for once. So that's kind of something good that Nintendo did. Now this the smartphone app. I'm gonna be honest about this. Does anyone even use the smartphone app like at all? Like. I still have it, but, like, I don't use it at all. Like, does anyone even use it? Nintendo Switch Online also connects with the smartphone app. 
With this app, like, you can voice chat with friends while playing certain games. I mean, I get this feature for like little kids that don't have like backseat Discord players can also join the conversation. Or Skype that way, or everyone's like happy. So this is good for parents to monitor their children. So like, I can't really like hate on it. In my opinion, I can't really like hate. Even has the ability I to can't enhance certain on games by connecting with them, like Splatnet too. It's cool and all. And then the last feature for the original was special offers. Members will also receive special offers. What are they? Like, there's a lot of game trials and... Check Nintendo.com so. for more information. Which case, I think that's cool and all. But, like, the problem is it, Nintendo only is charging so much for them all. More games, more features. Anyway, so that's what I have to say about the Nintendo Switch Online. Uh, now I'm going to move on to the expansion pack. Now, oh wait, actually, before I get to the expansion pack, I'm going to say this right now. If you're going to buy the, uh, if you're going to buy the expansion pack, or the uh, Nintendo, Switch, Nintendo Switch Online, I would not recommend really playing much of the, uh, oh wait, I forgot to actually show this real quick. Hold on. Give me a minute. Okay. So the, uh, price for this is $3.99 a month, $7.99, and then 20 Now, when you think about this, that's not exactly a bad price because technically, PlayStation and Xbox charge like sixty a year for a rec on for PlayStation Plus and uh, Xbox Live and the Game Passes and so and so. So like when you think about it, yeah, okay, that's a good kind of a cheap price and all. But the thing is, Nintendo doesn't do it all well. It's just my personal experience with Nintendo. I feel like honestly, if you don't have, um, if you don't have like you need to add, in my personal opinion for Nintendo is they should just really, they could have just maybe had not made the original so, like, because, like, the family membership is, like, $35. I don't really think that's really worth it to me because, like, when you think about that, okay, maybe individually, yeah, it's kind of worth it, maybe. But the family one isn't because... Like is the whole like is the is the whole family gonna be able to play online? Nor are they gonna want these features. I don't think they would. Like like I said, don't get me wrong. It's cool and all, but like that's a little bit much, even though it's not really that worth it. So, but if you want my honest opinion, I don't think it's worth it. Family wise, maybe individually, maybe, but family wise, no. Anyway, so I'm gonna move on to the expansion pack now. Now, as for Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack, this was released almost two years ago. Nintendo Switch Online offers five benefits that level up your gaming experience. With online play, a collection of NES and Super NES games, Save Data Cloud Backup, the Nintendo Switch Online app, and special offers. Expand it further with a paid Nintendo now, Switch with Online this, Plus expansion pack I membership, will say this. which includes even more benefits. When they released the expansion pack, people were saying how it is somewhat more worth it now. And I admit it, it is a little bit more worth it now. Benefits. Let's check we out get the four features, features included with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. So this, the N64 games, a lot of people were really hyped for this. Which, and I was too, I'll admit that I was. And, but my only issue with it is how the online connection could be while playing these. Because I have noticed this on, if you've played the NES, SNES, and these and possibly the Sega Genesis, they do lag a lot online. So, like, I would not recommend really playing it online, if you want my personal opinion. 
And also, the controls could be a little whack. I feel like Nintendo could have also made this feature where you could have also um, fixed your controls. Because, I'm going to be honest about something. They did not do very good with the controls, I feel. They could have allowed us to edit them. Now, they might have. I could be wrong. If so, if, if they have that feature, please tell me, because I would like to know that. But they added, they first Quite added in a couple Nintendo. games, like Super Mario 64. 64. system, which gave many players their first gaming experiences in 3D environments. And then we got Star Fox. 64, Banjo Kazooie. You can now play Dr. these games featuring 3D graphics at a higher resolution whenever and wherever and you'd like. Ocarina of Time. Which were. These were some of the best games. To spin points, we even got you Yoshi's your story. Whenever you'd like. And so oh yeah, I forgot play? to mention this, by the way. On uh, suspend points, I think this is a good feature because I think this was really clever and good that Nintendo added this because this means you could rewind if something went wrong. Because this helped me out a lot when I played uh, Ocarina of Time. A lot, and also um, Paper Mario. So, so I think this was a good thing that Nintendo did time. You can also play multiplayer games locally or online with us. Oh yeah, players. they also added Mario Kart 64, Mario Tennis, and uh, MC Rio. Additionally, more games will be added in the future. In which case, they're still adding in games now. Nice job. We hope you look forward to seeing which games will be coming And next. then they added more, like Majora's Mask, Mario Gold, Paper Mario, Kirby and the Crystal Shards, Pokemon Snap, and so and so. Now, the second feature they added was the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Now, this was announced, like, almost a year ago, but... Or I think around March, I believe. I could be wrong. It could. It was something a long time ago, but it wasn't too long from now. They released DLC Mario for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This was the best-selling game for the Switch, no so they decided cost. to release DLC for it. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe if you, booster course pack where you DLC can buy, if you have the expansion pack, you can get this for free. The Mario Kart series to the cup selection as they release. Which I think was a really good idea, because this means that we can uh play new courses. Although my one problem is with this is I feel like they could have added more characters, more battle tracks too. Because they could, instead of calling it Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they could have called this Nintendo Kart 8. Like, we could have got more D DLC characters like some people were saying like maybe even Zelda from um, Zelda or maybe even we could have even gotten other characters like Samus. Or maybe even, like, um, actually, oh, I was going to say, like, or maybe even Sonic, or, well, I know he's technically a sacred character, but I feel like they could have added more DLC characters, and also, there was no battle tracks. They have not added any, which I feel like Nintendo could have also done, which they should have done, in my opinion, but they could change that. I could be wrong. Now... Animal Crossing, Happy Players Home Paradise. Animal Crossing New Horizons now, game this was a DLC that DLC. was released Crossing New a little, a little while Paradise ago. At no additional cost. It's kind of like the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC where you get the expansion Expand pack, you, get, you don't have and to. help design vacation homes for clients so so. on all new resort islands. Now, I think this was a good DLC, but as of right now, Animal Crossing kind of died low-key, but... I still think it's a good game overall. And then the last thing is the Sega Genesis. So when they announced the expansion pack, they announced that the Sega Genesis was going to, they're going to have the games from the Sega Genesis be released on the Switch, which I think was really good, honestly. But the thing is, I haven't really seen many people play it. But I, do, I am glad that Sega did collab with this. Because it technically this was Sonic's thirtieth anniversary, so it, it's only fair that his uh the 
his console did technically get the uh on the switch you can also play so you can play a lot of the old Sega Genesis games. Save your game and they have the like. same thing like the or even other NES, NES, and expansion pack. And where you can't rewind. Multiplayer games can also be played online. More Sega Genesis games will be added in the future. Nintendo Switch and Online then the is available for starting this at the was, pricing options shown here. If I remember correctly, it was Nintendo online, Switch so Online plus yes. expansion packs. So adds the here's what I previously think introduced, starting at this pricing plan. If two or more people will be using, so here's what I think. So the price for the individual membership is fifty five or forty nine at ninety nine, but I think it's going to require tax. Realistically, that's like it's a. Oh, that's not really a, the best price, I feel. I feel like Nintendo could have charged a little less for this. I mean, I know they're still adding in stuff now, because, honestly, I feel like they could have added more to it. Or or they could have charged a little less, because, realistically, we all know how Xbox and PlayStation are with their prices. It's bad enough Nintendo charges the games, their good ones, with $60. And when you think about this, is that really worth it? In a way, if you're like, the thing is, if you like playing the N64 and Mario Kart and so and so, I think it's worth it. But if you have like an emulator where you could just emulate the N64 games, then it's not worth it. But if you don't have an emulator, then yes, this is perfect. But I just feel that the. Now, there were some more N64 games that were announced. We'll get to that in a little bit. Which, I do feel like Nintendo did do a good job when it came to the N64 games. games. I just feel that they could have added, done more with it. Now, there were some games that were also announced. Last, uh, in the last direct. But as for if you want, if your family really likes the N64 games, it's so and so. I think it's worth the eight, the eighty dollars. But if you only just like it, they get the individual. That's just how I think personally. Anyway, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now, and I'm gonna show you all the. The last uh, thing that was updated. Which should be coming up in a moment. So, uh, almost a month ago, Nintendo released another trailer for the uh, N64 games. Where we had a couple more different games. Which I really like. And I'm excited for Anyway, I'm gonna share this now to y'all. It should be, sh it should be coming up now. So they recently released or announced that more they were having Nintendo's more. Come on, sixty-four the way. games are on the way. Pilot We're getting Wings Pilot Wings 64. 64. It was actually just announced last night before I'm actually... Mario Party. We're getting Mario Party 1. Mario Party 2. Mario Party 2. Basically, we're getting all the Mario Parties for the Mario X64. Mario Party 3. Pokemon Stadium. And we're getting a lot of Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium 2. Which are really good games. 1080 Snowboard. And 1080 Snowboard. Now, this was a classic for me. Which Excite I really Excite Bike 64. Excite Bike, I never really played in my life, but there was a track on uh, Mario Kart 8 called Excite Bike. These games will gradually be added. So, realistically, I think that, the, that Nintendo is releasing this stuff at good times. Because we're getting... Because they also made a list of when they were going to release this. So, Pilot Wings was just announced last night. And 
I think it's, that it's coming up this month, and then we got Mario Party 1 coming out, most likely in November, and Mario Party 2 coming out in December. And then, if we're going to assume, we can only assume that Mario Party 3 will be out in January, and then Pokemon Stadium in February, and Stadium 2 in March, 1080, Snowboarding in April, and Excite Bike 64, which should be in May. Which, that sounds like a good point. So at least future, we don't like what's coming. You can play a selection of Nintendo 64 games and enjoy many more gaming benefits with an active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack. And they also ship. forgot to... I forgot to also mention this. They also released uh, Splatoon 2, an expansion pass. Um... Realistically, I think this was a worth the thing, but I feel like they could have added this for Splatoon 3, realistically, because Splatoon 3 just recently just came out, so I feel like, honestly, it was a little late to add this. But that's oh, just my and there's opinion. there's one more game we should mention. And this was one of my also childhood favorite classics. And it's called GoldenEye 007. And this is coming with online play. So, for what we can assume, this possibly will be coming out either in June or July of 2023. Which is a good thing. Because we may pretend... Because this was one of the best... Because it was also released... It's being released for Xbox uh, Game Pass and for the uh, Nintendo Switch Online. Now, they did say exclusively that the online play is going to be on the uh, N64 for some reason. They're not releasing the online for the Xbox, which I wonder why they're not doing that. They should really be adding that because it would make the game better. But this is a game I'm really hoping for. So, as for what's coming up in the future, I think we're going to have a lot of good games come out for Nintendo 64. Not to mention, we're also getting a lot of games for the uh, Nintendo Switch next year. That were also trailers that were released, like Breath of the Wild, or Tears of the Kingdom, I mean. Mario plus Sparks, King of Rabbits of Hope. We're also getting the Super Mario Bros. movie coming out. So, like, realistically, I think Nintendo is on the right track. They just need to keep it that way. Anyway, that's all I have to say about the uh, expansion or the Nintendo Switch Online. Now, I will say this. I think it's getting somewhat more worth it now. Back then, people hated it, but I think people are starting to like it now. So, anyway... Nintendo, I will say this to you now. Keep giving us the good stuff, and maybe people will keep buying it. And maybe possibly decrease the price while you're at it. Because, I'm going to be honest, the price is a little bit much, I feel. But, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.